Welcome to this tutorial on how to draw a metric nut DIN 934 with multiple configurations using a design table. We start by creating a new part and adding the equations. I added the equations already so everything is a little bit faster. The most important values driving the nut are the top four. M, which is your major diameter, S is the width across the flats or your key size, K is your head and pitch of course your pitch. All the rest is calculated based on these. No value, all values are needed, some are just there as a reference, so you can easily access them in different assemblies or check your drawing. The H values are used to calculate the profile triangle. They are based on this little drawing here. Once these are in, hit OK. And now we can start with our first feature. Hit extrude, front plane, and we add a polygon with six sides. Select one of the sides and make them horizontal. Then we add a smart dimension. Hit the equal sign for your global variables and select S, hit OK. We're also going to add one circle for your center cut. This circle gets also a global variable, center cut, hit OK. Finish your sketch and here we're going to select two directions. Global variable, k over 2. Same in the, in the other direction, k over 2, which combines as a full k, of course. Doing this gives us a center reference plane, handy for mating or mirroring. Once that is done, we're going to chamfer the ends here on both sides. To do this, we select extruded cut, we select the front face, normal two, and draw a circle on that face. This circle becomes tangent with one of the sides. Exit the sketch, flip side to cut, we're gonna go through all, and we're gonna give it an angle of yeah, 60 degrees is just fine. Hit OK and let's give this our nice rounded chamfer. We're going to mirror this feature to the other side. Select mirror. Select the front plane, which is our center. Features to mirror. Select cut, extrude and hit OK. Next thing is we're going to fillet the sides, select fillet, select all the sides, variable is radius fillet right there, hit OK and OK, this gives us a nice rounding. Next step is to chamfer the inner cut so you have a nice fluent transfer to our threads. Select chamfer and we select both edges. For depth we select this value so that's your full cut. For angle 45 degrees. Hit OK. And this is your basic part. Now it's ready to receive threads. Before that, we can add material. Here we're going to select 34CR4. Hit apply and OK. Last step is adding the actual threads. 
we do this at the very end because then we can easily suppress them without damaging any of these features so we have an, a much lighter nut in assemblies then you will usually add cosmetic shreds they can be added through insert annotation cosmetic thread if you do this you will probably need to activate um, your, your shaded cosmetic threads don't forget that next step is adding our helix select the helix function and our front face here we draw a circle from the center if we make our circle co-radial with the inner cut hit ok here we select height and pitch constant pitch and we make here two different values so we can identify them in a minute start angle is not important for the moment and we reverse direction hit ok now if you double click on the helix you can access your dimensions again this value will be our k value and we multiply it with 1.2 so later on if we gonna make our cut that we're sure that we're gonna go all the way through hit ok and here we select pitch that's our helix rebuild then it's time for our swept cut do this select sketch and we do this on the right plane polygon with three sides here on the left to set the relations we change visibility to hidden lines visible one of the vertices of the triangle gets a coincidence with the side of the nut and one side gets a collinear with the inner cut we're going to make everything uh, for construction and we add one more construction line on top dimension this will be our 5 8 h plus h over 8 and this line here will have our h over 8 once that is done we can make our rounding on top select three point arc first point second point and then somewhere in the middle and we have mentioned this with our value r this defines the whole triangle select line and connect the exterior points there this should give you a nice closed profile hit ok select features and swept cuts for paths we select our helix hit ok now we can change our visibility back to shaded view this gives you a nice cut right there you can hide your helix and have a quick check if everything is all right let's put this on to 70 270 and now you can see here that we have a nice cut so that looks fine close your section view moving on to configurations go to the config menu properties and let's copy the name here you can select if we use 
for our bill of materials, the document name or configuration name. We're going to select configuration name here. Then add configuration. And here we can just paste our name in, change it to M10. Here as well, we want configuration name and hit OK. Now we have two identical configurations. We can now open the equations menu. And now you get access to these options. From the first four values, we change it to this configuration. And then we can input the values. So that's 10, 17. Here we go, 8. And the last is 1.5. Hit OK. And now we have two configurations that solve without any issues. Then we can insert our design table. Go to insert tables design table and we auto create it. Just expand it a bit. So here we have our four equations or rather the values from the first equations. Um, and color, we don't need color, so you can just delete that out. The part number is where it says configuration or document name. So that's the C, otherwise it would be a D right there. I'll skip over the numbers input. So these are the values. So I added the configurations. Make sure that you don't mix your comma and points that's very important so it needs to be the same as your systems variable so once you have these in just click outside and it'll generate your configurations you can move them as you want so we have a nice logic order and then you can just click through them and see if they all solve so that's all fine and now we have a nice multi-configuration metric nut. Thank you for watching.